I'm out here at Al's in Gresham and I'm with Jonathan. Jonathan, it's not too early to start thinking about strawberries. No, no, it really isn't. Uh, uh, this is a great time to get your strawberries into the ground. Um, it's uh, the, the weather's still nice and mild uh, and, and the berries are gonna uh, love to be put in the ground right now. Yeah. You know, when we're out shopping for strawberries, there are a lot of different varieties mm -hmm. that are out there. And we hear terms like, you know, June bearing mm -hmm. and ever bearing. What, yeah. what is the difference between those? So your June bearing strawberries are going to give you one major crop in the month of June, generally. Um, your ever bearing are gonna give you that June crop, but they're gonna give you a secondary crop either in July or in August. It won't be as large as the first crop, but you will get more total berries. Okay. I will say that the June bearing uh, uh, strawberries are going to be a larger berry okay. and by and large they're going to be a little bit of a sweeter berry. Um, they just won't give you the same volume. Uh, and we have actually some June bearing strawberries here, Hood, uh, Benton, and Shuxon. Uh, they all are June bearing. Uh, the other ones here at the end uh, are Seascape and Sweet Anne and they're going to be your uh, ever-bearing strawberries. Okay. Yeah. And then we also have, you know, you'll see strawberries, you know, and other varieties too that, you know, like down at the end, like the Chilowensis and the Virginianas. Yeah. Are those a fruiting strawberry also? They're more ornamental. They're going yeah. to, they're going to do a great job uh, uh, covering ground. Uh, they can uh, help with uh, soil erosion on slopes actually, because they'll send the, the runners out just like our, our other strawberries here and they'll, help keep that soil in place. But it's not the big juicy red nope, berry that we're using. It is not. So it's more of an ornamental. Yeah. So if you're wanting the fruiting ones, we'll stick, stick with the other ones. Right over here, yep. So you know, after we pick out a, a plant or the berry that we like, or we can mix and do different varieties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how do we care for them? What, what do we need to do for, for like our soils and fertilizers? And Yeah, and so they're gonna want a, a light, well-drained soil. Um, and as far as the fertilizer goes, something that's going to uh, be designed with acidic loving plants in mind mm -hmm. is definitely going to uh, make them and keep them happy. Uh, we, I always recommend a transplant fertilizer when you're first putting them in okay. the ground. Uh, that helps with the initial root growth and really uh, promotes a stronger above ground growth over a short period of time. Uh, the other thing to, to know is that slugs are definitely gonna, gonna come after them. And right. so a, a, a slug bait, especially um, something that's a, kind of a more organic, family friendly slug bait, is a great thing to have around your strawberries, especially if you have kids or grandkids. There. Right, because yeah, I usually liked having the first munch out of my berry. Exactly, bed, right in the, the garden, right, right in the garden, yep. And so, you know, there's some differences, you know, these are, you know, looks like an individual plant yes. in, in just a four inch pot, but you also have, you know, sell these larger plants. Yeah. So what's, what's the difference between the two there? So this is actually 10 starts. Uh, okay. So there are, uh, actually 10 different plants inside here versus the four inch container just has a single plant. Uh, when you're planting this, you're gonna wanna pull the whole thing out and break off a bunch of your soil. And then you're gonna want to take these individual starts and separate them. I'm just kinda just te teasing those, those apart, I yep. see that. And so the strawberries, they don't necessarily just have to be planted in the ground. So you have this, this container here, which is right. conveniently named a strawberry pot. <laughs> <laughs> right. But these are great, great for this because the pockets are so small that you can get these roots, yeah. roots down in there. So these you can put a little more soil in yeah, there. I'll let you plant. I'll grab, grab some soil for you there. You can just drop these right down in there. And so then you're just pot putting one in, one in each hole. Yep. And so then you, you have your good, good soil here. And then once you have this, this potted up, you know, you're, are you using your transplant fertilizers on, on these as well? So the transplant fertilizer, yeah, and we've already actually used it. We've, we've mixed it into our base soil here okay. so that it's down on the root line. It's down with the roots and not sitting on top like a lot of the, uh, the slow-release fertilizers okay. that you see are. Uh, and and that, that transplant fertilizer is, is really specifically designed for uh, the promotion of, of root growth. Okay. Um, so that's already mixed in, and then we just, yep, just keep, 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 keep on like going, yeah. yep. And then I've seen, you know, 
people putting you know strawberries in hanging baskets yeah that absolutely. another option too yeah you really can um they're they're going to grow and they're going to send out their little their little runners that they send right. and uh anywhere that those runners are are going to encounter soil whether it's coming off of a pot or uh down the side of a, a planter or a, or a wall they're going to root in and you're going to get more uh, more strawberry plants the next year. Awesome. You know, so there's, you know, so many great varieties out there. You know, I love to kind of mi mix and match and do a lot of, you know, some June bearing and some mm -hmm. ever bearing. So if you're looking to harvest some strawberries in your yard this summer, make sure you come out to Al's, you know, their four stores, you know, and talk to Jonathan and their staff and come pick out and try some new varieties. You know, you get all the supplies with it, pick up a pot, put them in the ground. You know, the options are endless. So Jonathan, I appreciate being out here today and showing us what we can do with our strawberry plants. Absolutely. My pleasure.